If your games are stuttering, your CPU is probably being held back by hidden settings. In this video, I'll show you the 10 most advanced tweaks to unleash 100% of your processor's power so you can crush max FPS in every game you play. So without wasting time, let's dive in. Lost to with the lag and harping while you play games, so guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Start by searching for Registry Editor in the Windows search bar, then right click and choose Run as Administrator to open it with elevated privileges. Once inside, copy the registry path provided in the description and paste it into the address bar at the top of the editor, then press enter. This path leads you to a key where we'll disable CPU core parking, a hidden windows feature that can throttle performance by parking or idling unused cores. Disabling this ensures all your CPU threads stay active, responsive and ready for high demand gaming scenarios. Now, inside the selected registry location, locate the entry labelled Max, double click it and select Modify. Set the value data to 100 and confirm the base is set to hexadecimal before clicking OK. This change forces Windows to allow full CPU utilisation under all loads. Right after that, find the minimum entry, repeat the process and change its value data to 0. Again, make sure hexadecimal is selected and press OK. By setting this range between 0 and 100%, we ensure that your CPU dynamically scales from idle to full power without parking any cores. Next, let's tweak how Windows prioritizes foreground applications, something that can make a huge difference in gaming responsiveness and FPS consistency. Copy the second registry path from the description and paste it into the editor's address bar. Hit enter to jump to the new location. Here, look for an entry called Win32 Priority Separation. Right click it and select Modify. In the value data, enter 26, which is an optimal hex value that tells Windows to prioritize active, foreground apps like your game while balancing background tasks smartly. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal and hit OK. Once all the tweaks are applied, restart your PC to finalize the changes. These advanced registry optimizations will allow your CPU to operate at its peak capability, keeping every core active, every thread engaged, and your system fully focused on delivering the highest possible FPS during gaming sessions. Perfect for squeezing out every bit of performance, especially on CPUs that are being underutilized by default Windows behavior. Next, open your start menu, type msconfig, and hit enter to launch the system configuration utility. Inside this window, go to the Boot tab and click on Advanced Options. Now, enable the checkbox labeled Number of Processors and set it to the highest number available from the drop-down menu. This setting forces Windows to utilize all available CPU cores during boot. While it's primarily designed for testing and troubleshooting and doesn't directly increase in-game FPS, it ensures that Windows fully recognizes and initializes your CPU's full core count from the start. There's no harm in enabling it, so go ahead and click OK to apply the setting. To make a more meaningful impact on CPU performance, switch over to the Services tab in the same msconfig window. First, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This is crucial. It prevents you from accidentally disabling vital system functions. Now you'll see only third-party services, many of which run in the background and eat up CPU cycles for no real reason. Carefully scan through the list and uncheck any non-essential services that you recognize as safe to disable. Things like auto-updaters, printer services, or third-party helper tools that aren't required for gaming. I personally disable a few of these to offload unnecessary background activity from the CPU. After you're done, hit apply to save your adjustments. Next, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to bring up the Run dialog box. In the input field, type gpedit.msc and hit enter to open the local group policy editor. This tool allows you to make advanced system level adjustments that aren't available through standard Windows settings, and it's essential for unlocking CPU performance in a more controlled way. Once the group policy editor opens, navigate to the following path, 
Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Scroll down within the System section until you find a folder named Power Management. Click on it to expand its options. Now, locate and click on Power Throttling Settings. In the right-hand pane, you'll see a setting titled Turn Off Power Throttling. Double-click on this entry to open its configuration window. By default, this setting may be set to Not Configured. Change it to Enabled to completely disable power throttling. Disabling power throttling ensures that Windows no longer limits your CPU's power usage for battery efficiency or thermal control purposes. This is particularly important for gaming or high-performance desktop systems where you want the CPU to operate at maximum capability at all times. Once you've set it to Enabled, click Apply, then OK, and close the Group Policy Editor. Alright guys, the next step is to get the CPU Optimization Pack. You'll find the download link on my website, just check the description for all the details. <clears throat> just head over to uptopacks.com and click on the FPS Boost tab. You'll immediately recognize the title and thumbnail that match this video. Once you've located it, all it takes is a single click to download the full pack. Begin by locating the folder labeled CPU Priority. Inside you'll see two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and the other for AMD CPUs. Select the folder that matches your processor. If you're using an Intel-based system, open the Intel folder and run the provided registry tweak or installer file. If you're on an AMD machine, do the same from the AMD folder. These files are designed to fine-tune your CPU scheduling priorities at a low level, ensuring Windows gives top execution preference to your processor during gaming sessions. Applying the correct one based on your CPU architecture helps unlock tighter control and better responsiveness, especially during heavy gaming loads. Next, it's time to install a powerful optimization utility called Quick CPU. This tool gives you fine-grained access to CPU performance settings that are usually hidden from regular Windows users. After downloading and installing Quick CPU, it will automatically launch and display your CPU's live status, including core activity, temperature, frequency, and more. In this guide, I'll walk you through all the key adjustments that can boost in-game FPS, improve CPU response time, and reduce input lag. Start by adjusting your system power plan. At the top of the window, open the drop-down menu and select Ultimate Performance. This power mode is engineered for high-performance systems, ensuring that your processor runs at full speed without being held back by energy-saving protocols. By enabling this plan, you'll notice smoother gameplay, quicker reaction times, and a consistent FPS boost, especially in CPU-heavy titles. Now, scroll down to the Key Performance Tuning section. Begin with Core Parking and set it to 100%. This disables Windows' tendency to put unused CPU cores to sleep, keeping all cores active and ready to handle game processing. Then, set CPU performance to 100%. This locks your processor at maximum performance, eliminating dynamic throttling. Move to frequency scaling and crank it to 100% as well, which ensures your CPU maintains its peak clock speed throughout your gaming session. Finally, set Turbo Boost to 100%. This feature allows your CPU to temporarily push beyond its base frequency under demanding workloads, giving your games an extra performance headroom when needed most. Once these sliders are maxed out, click Apply to activate the changes, then press OK to confirm. But we're not done yet. There's more performance to be unlocked. Click on the Advanced CPU Settings tab inside Quick CPU. Here, make sure the option for Turbo Boost is checked, allowing your processor to automatically scale up its clock speed when necessary. Then, enable Enhanced Intel Speedstep Technology, EIST, if you're on an Intel CPU. This option allows the processor to balance power savings and high performance intelligently without sacrificing FPS or responsiveness. Lastly, 
Make sure all turbo power limits options are turned on. These limits define how far your CPU can push its performance under high workloads, and unlocking them ensures the chip can run at its full design potential without interference from artificial caps. Once you've applied these advanced tweaks, close Quick CPU. Your processor is now fully optimized to deliver consistent high FPS, reduced stuttering, and minimal latency especially in fast-paced games that demand every bit of CPU horsepower. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now open the Windows search bar. Type Task Scheduler and launch the Task Scheduler app from the results. Once the interface loads, expand the section on the left labeled Task Scheduler Library. Here you'll find a list of automated tasks that Windows runs in the background at scheduled times. Carefully go through the list and look for tasks related to Windows Defender, Windows Update and System Maintenance. These are often set to run even when you're actively using your PC. For each task that's not essential during gaming, right-click on it and select Disable. For example, you might disable the scheduled scans by Defender or background update checks that run periodically and consume CPU cycles. Be cautious. Only disable tasks you recognize as safe to postpone especially those that don't directly affect real-time system stability or security. By turning off these automatic background tasks, you prevent your system from launching CPU-intensive operations while you're in the middle of gaming or streaming. This frees up your processor to focus entirely on real-time performance demands, reducing the risk of FPS dips or sudden stutters. It's a subtle but highly effective step to maintain smooth and uninterrupted gameplay, especially on mid-range or lower-end systems. <clears throat> One of the most effective tweaks to boost CPU responsiveness in gaming, especially on low-end PCs, is disabling CPU sleep states, known as C states. These power-saving modes reduce energy use when the CPU is idle, which is great for laptops, but can cause performance drops, input lag, and micro stutters on gaming desktops. To disable them, restart your PC and enter the BIOS or UEFI by pressing Dell, F2 or Escape during boot, varies by motherboard. Inside the BIOS, go to the Advanced CPU Features or Power Management tab. Find settings like CPU C states or C1E and set them to Disabled. Disabling C-states keeps the CPU fully active, avoiding low power modes that can hurt performance. This results in smoother gameplay, better frame stability, and fewer stutters, especially in CPU-heavy games. Now, open the control panel, navigate to Power Options, and then click on Choose What the Power Buttons Do from the left sidebar. Next, click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable to unlock the grayed out options. You'll now see a checkbox labeled Turn on Fast Startup. Go ahead and uncheck this box, then click Save Changes.
By turning off fast startup, you ensure that your PC performs a full shutdown and startup sequence, which helps reset all system components, drivers, and memory modules cleanly. This can resolve hidden instability issues, eliminate RAM conflicts, and allow your performance settings, especially those related to CPU and power management, to apply correctly at every boot. It's a small but crucial step to maintain peak system stability and performance during gaming. So that wraps up today's video. If you found this guide helpful and your FPS is finally where it should be, don't forget to smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more powerful optimization tips just like this. Thanks for watching and as always, peace out.